28th and I am here today because I just received five packages from John. John, thank you so much. He said he wanted to send me a little something and it's not little. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five boxes of goodies. Now what's in here? I have no idea. I do know that it's bee related because they came from Man Lake. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. So much fun. Oh my goodness, woodware, yay! Wowzers. Okay, so we have an inner cover with a vent up here. Lovely, thank you, John. Oh boy, what is this? This looks like an insulated, this is a piece of insulation. I think these are, this is an insulated inner cover. Oh, this is a, has a feeder here too. It has a piece of insulation here. So this looks like a Boardman feeder top. And this is for feeding and this, this looks like it has a, an entrance here. Oh, this is a winter inner cover. Yes, indeed. And this piece of insulation keeps condensation from building up and dripping onto the bees in the winter. Really important. So yeah, 10 frame wintering inner cover. Wow. Oh my gosh, how many are in here? Three? Oh my goodness. This is enough for three hives. Telescopic. This is a telescopic lid. This is going to be a 10 frame hive. Holy smokes. Oh, 10 frame. Yeah, so this is a 10 frame hive, which is what I run now, but I run mediums. Oh boy, what is this? This is a cane extruder cleaner. Oh, great. I have a queen excluder right now, but it's plastic and it gets totally gucked up by the bees. This is a queen excluder. Oh, so, oh no, this broke. Rats. We'll have to talk to Man Lake. I thought this screwed in here, but this snapped right off. But this is to clean a queen excluder, which is basically a frame that gets filled with wax. And this is supposed to get all the wax out, but rats, this got broken during shipping. This is where learning how to weld would be good. Awesome. Oh, great, 10 frame slatted rack. These are beautiful. I have these on my hive right now, and these are great. Mine is also made by Man Lake, and I've been very happy with it. This is beautiful. So the slatted rack looks like this. So this is a slatted rack. I have these on two of my hives, and I love them, and it gives a little bit more ventilation to the hive. It goes above the bottom board and beneath the hive bodies. So it allows the bees to hang out here when it gets hot and uh, gives them a little bit more space. Lovely. Okay, over here we have a chicken. Hi, girl. Now, I think these are gonna be all the same because they're the same weight and same size. And based on what was inside the others, I think this is gonna be more components for new hives. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, indeed, look at this. Oops. Wowzers, these are right cell frames. Plastic foundation coated in wax. I've used these just this year and I'm very happy with them. These cells are actually pretty high so the bees seem to like to draw these out pretty nicely or easily. And when the comb gets wonky, you can just scrape them off and reuse them, which is nice, which you can't do, of course, with wax foundation. Awesome! Oh, they smell great. They smell like beeswax. Three boxes of these? Oh my gosh, John! Okay, and in this box, oh! More treasures. Oh my gosh. 
here's the order. This is what else I'm going to get. Oh my gosh. What is in here? Wow. Honey supers. Six honey supers. Oh my. And these are. Oh, these are backer boards. I have never used these before, but basically these are blanks. So if you want to make your hive body smaller, if you have a small nucleus colony or just a small colony of bees, you can reduce the size of the hive body using these blanks. If there's too much space, then you can encourage pests to come in and it's just stressful on the bees because it's just too much for them to maintain. So you use these backer boards to reduce the size. I was just using pieces of styrofoam before, but this is great. Oh my gosh. And based on this packaging slip, there's more to come. Wow. This is actually called a follower board, not a backer board. Wow, and I've got excluders coming. Oh my gosh, inner cover, insulation. Holy smokes. So basically what John just sent me are three brand new hives. John, thank you so much. This is crazy. <laughs> I guess this is getting me in preparation for spring, right? They don't tell you this when you first start beekeeping, that it's never just one hive, that it's one, three, ten, thirty. <laughs> John, thank you so much. I can't wait to put all the stuff into use. Ah! I'll do another follow-up when I get the rest of the gear. Thanks again, John.